college algebra class topic 3.5 I'll be graphing piecewise functions number six okay a piecewise function is made out of several equations rather than just one this is using 1 over x the absolute value of x and the square root of x and these over here are called domain restrictions it tells us basically when these equations start and when they stop this equation will stop at negative x is negative 1 this equation will start at x is negative 1 and stop at x is 4. And this equation will start at x is 4. So let's start graphing these. Now I'm going to create two graphs, one for sketching, the other one for actually answering this. So let's start with this equation, y equals 1 over x. y equals 1 over x is graphed this way. Furthermore, at x equals negative 1, we're actually going to stop this graph. This graph is going to keep going from negative infinity and stop at x is negative 1. So we're going to find the point at which it stops by putting x is negative 1 into the y equation. So negative 1, and we get y equals negative 1. So the, so the stopping point will be x is negative 1, y is negative 1. That spot is right here. And there's a bracket here, so that means we're going to have a closed circle at negative 1, negative 1. Okay, next. The next equation is the absolute value of x. The absolute value of x is graphed with a v-shape. So it will go from like here to there, and then there. So there's your absolute value. And this one starts at x equals negative 1 but it ends at x equals 4. So when I put a negative 1 in here, I get y is the absolute value of negative 1, y is equal to 1. So that means that it starts at the point negative 1 comma 1. But it ends at x equals 4, so y equals the absolute value of 4. That means y equals 4. The ending point will be x is 4, y is 4. Okay, so x equals negative 1 is where it'll start, x equals 4 is where it'll stop, and they both are parentheses, so they'll be both open circles. All right, negative 1, 1 is about right here, so this will be an open circle, negative 1, 1. And let's see, 4, 4 is way up here. Oh, and that's also going to be open, sorry about that. Close that. It should be open and that's going to be 4, 4. Okay. Now the last piece is the square root of x. y equals the square root of x. Well that graph looks like this. See if I can draw that. It's going to get a little crowded here. Okay, there we go. That's the square root of x. And it stops at x equals 4. So let's put 4 inside here, the square root and we'll get y equals 2. So the stopping point will be x is 4, y is 2. And because there's a bracket here at 4, it'll be closed. So let's close it right there and mark it with the point 4 comma 2. All right, so that's kind of confusing there. So we're going to clean it up here. So first, the um, 1 over x function stops right here. So let's just draw that piece. So that draws here, and we stop there at negative 1, negative 1. Next, we start at the negative 1, 1, which is here. Open circle. Negative 1, 1. And it goes to here, and then it stops there. Open circle. And that's at 4, 4 is where it starts. Then the last piece starts at 4, 2. So it'll start there. We'll put a little closed circle there and start it off there, and that is 4, 2. And this is your piecewise function for f.